All right, I thought I'd just make a quick video about Klaus Schwab not being able to sleep at night and the moon potentially being cracked in the future. So I'm just gonna share a couple of scriptures here. So Luke 21 verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. So this isn't an ordinary event. Men's hearts fail in them for fear and for looking after those things. So they're they're taking care of, they're studying what's going on with the, the moon, the sun, the stars, all the distress upon the nations with perplexity because they don't understand what's going on. And then the sea and the waves roaring back and forth. And <clears throat> many men are going to have heart attacks, pass out, they're going to faint. They're going to be tired, all kinds of stuff, because they're trying to look after those things which are coming on the earth. So that's terrifying. I must admit, <clears throat> as much as I say some of this stuff keeps Klaus Schwab up late at night, I must admit, some of this keeps me awake at night, too. Just being real. So Revelation. What a Revelation. This is going to be a short video. Okay, Revelation 8. Fall oh, right here. And the fourth angel, this is Revelation 8, 12. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars, so as the third part of them was darkened. And the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. We lose a third of daylight. That's crazy in itself. Basically, you have 16 hours to do whatever you do in a day. Eight hours daylight, eight hours night, and then you're back at it again. So we lose a third. Let's go over to Isaiah 13. And I promise to make this video short. Isaiah 13:10. <clears throat> For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth. And the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So if Klaus Schwab is reading Isaiah 13, this is what will terrify him. This is what will keep him up at night. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place. Remember the oceans going back and forth in uh, Luke 21? In the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. Then if you go over here to... Job 2.10, right here. This is Joel, short book, Joel 2.10. And the earth shall quake before them, and the heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, <clears throat> and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Interesting, right? And you go to Amos, just one book over, Amos 8. Remember, this is future. Just not sure when. 8 9. Amos 8 9. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. Very interesting. Interesting stuff. So, this is what keeps Klaus Schwab. And many, many other people up late at night. And in the end days, many parts will faint because of it. Don't forget to 
subscribe, like, feel free to comment. Appreciate all your comments. See you later.